Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review for the girls or for the fathers and their daughters. This is the Barbie Starlight Adventure RC Flying Hoverboard. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to review something for the girls since I've never really done a uh, girl-oriented RC before. And you'll notice this is basically a quadcopter that does, you know kind of have design like a hoverboard. And then it's got this foam Barbie figure on it. And it's laid out in the plus configuration. So these uh, two pink props are your forward and backward. And the blue is left and right. So it flies uh, straight forward like that. Whereas quads usually have this X orientation with two props flying forward. Uh, so that kind of gives it that you know more hoverboard look. Or like a surfboard or something. And... Uh, the controller is pretty interesting here, which for us RC guys probably looks pretty confusing. But for a beginner, for you know, for a young uh, person that's never flown RC before, it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. They've made this thing very easy to fly, so it's definitely a good beginner's model, a good one to get your daughter into the hobby or whatever. Um, so. Basically, what they've done, it, it has altitude hold. So this blue button here is your takeoff and landing button. So you're going to press that. It's going to spin up and take off, and it's going to hold its height using a barometer. So it pretty much hovers at a, at a you know single height. That takes a little bit to warm up at first. Like um, as the motors warm up and the heat changes, that kind of affects the barometer. So at first, it can be a little bit... Uh, bouncy but once it kind of gets warmed up it'll hold its height really well and then this button over here changes your altitude so if you want to go higher or lower you can use this to change that so you know raise or lower it with that and then this center joystick is to move around so it's got it's kind of um has this like pl hard plastic there so you can't really do diagonal so much so it makes it easy you just forward left and right and back with this one joystick and then this star button here is what they call what 360 spin action when you press and hold this star button it's going to yaw to the right that means it's going to turn to the right so normally if you're just hovering around you just move it forward backward left and right and stuff like that but if you press that star it's going to start to turn so with a combination of that, you can actually kind of fly this around once you get a feel for it. Or if it, you know, kind of goes off away and you want to just turn it back to facing away from you, you just press that star button and it'll slowly turn to the right as long as you're holding it. And that's really all there is to the control. So it's nice and simple and straightforward and easy uh, to kind of grasp. Uh, let's go ahead on to what it comes with. We've got a set of spare props. Um, However, you'll notice you've got this big protective foam frame and then it also has hard plastic prop guards within that. So very well protected. I think you'd be pretty hard pressed to break a prop on this and then it's going to be nice and safe for bouncing into furniture or if you know run into yourself or something. You shouldn't have to be too concerned about getting nicked by any of the props. Uh, we also have this USB cable here which Kind of interesting charging on this one we've got um in the back here in this arm this opens up and then you've got a the little charging cable that plugs into that little red port on the bottom but you can't charge off the batteries and the transmitter you have to plug in this usb cable and then attach that to the usb source so it charges through the transmitter but using usb power not the battery so a little bit interesting. I, I would have liked to see uh, the option to actually charge it just off the transmitter without having to use USB as well. Um, it takes about two and two hours and ten minutes to charge, so pretty long charge times. But it has a big 650 milliamp hour LiPo in it, uh, so pretty big battery, and that gives seven minute and twenty second long flights with a 10 second LVC warning. So you get about seven and a half minute long total flights. Um, for those new to the hobby, the LVC warning, that's low voltage cutoff. So when the battery gets to a certain point, the electronics will cut it off so you can't over discharge the battery. And there's a warning that let you know that that's coming. Um, basically in here, when you've got it turned on, 
Um, let's see if I can get that. There we go. So you can see that green light blinking. I think that starts flashing red or maybe it blinks red or something, but that, that light in there blinking, like once you're connected, it'll stop blinking and then it'll start blinking again uh, to let you know that the battery's about to die. So it's a little bit tricky to see, but if you know, you're flying up ab above you and you can see in there and you see that, that light's blinking, that means you have 10 seconds before the battery's gonna die and it'll slowly power down and land. Uh, let's see, any other notes on this? Um, when it is charging, you, you turn this power switch over here to this little lightning bolt thing, that's the charge, and you'll have a uh, light over here that lights up, and it's gonna be red while it charges, and then it's gonna turn green when it's done. So it's nice and visible to know if it's charging or done. Um, let's see, any other notes on this? Um, oh, you, and you can also trim it, which it took me a while to even notice that those were there, but all these little arrows around the joystick are trim tabs. So if you notice that it's always constantly wanting to drift to one direction, use the trim tab in the opposite direction until it steadies out. And it's not going to stay perfectly stable. It does kind of drift around a little bit and, you know, kind of all over the place. But if it constantly always wants to go in the same direction, then you're going to want to use tat, the trim tab in the opposite direction until it stays rather stable. Um, yeah, that looks like that covers all the details. So let's go take it for a flight. All right, this is the flight review of the Barbie Starlight Adventure RC Flying Hoverboard. Pretty neat one for the girls. And uh, the easiest way to do this is start it on the ground facing away from you. And that way all your controls are in line with what you see. And then you're gonna just press the blue button here and she'll take off. And yeah, it looks like she, there we go got a little too much height so now I'm using the uh, little trigger here on the right it takes a second to get its height sort of held in there it's got and it's all over the place right now but once it kind of warms up it'll it'll start to steady out so just give it a second it's just kind of doing that all on its own trying to find its height <laughs> It's having some trouble, but once the motors warm up, it'll get better and it'll start to hold a better hover. Um, but anyway, I'm just using this center stick to just move it left and right and forward and backwards. And once it gets its height figured out here, You can use these buttons here on the right to to change your height up and down. It should hold that pretty well. But it's having some trouble right now. It's starting to get a little bit better. There we go. I think it's starting to get it. And now if I press this star button, it'll slowly rotate to the right. So you can change the way it's facing using that button. But to start out, you're going to want it just facing away from you. That's the easiest way to fly it. That way all your stick movements are the same as what you see. Looks like it's starting to hold its height a little bit better now. And it doesn't hover perfectly in place. You do have to kind of keep moving it around with the stick. And when it's facing towards you now, you gotta remember all your controls reverse, so pressing up is gonna make it fly towards you. A little more height.
So yeah, if you hold that star button, you can kind of make it fly around the room if you sort of give it forward input as it turns. You can kind of make it fly in a circle. So yeah, now it's hovering pretty good now that the uh, it's warmed up a little bit. But the barometer that it uses for the height hold you know, it uses air temperature and pressure, so as the motors warm up, it kind of changes the, the barometer reading, so it needs, to, needs a minute to warm up before it really starts to hover better. Pretty easy to fly, though. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make huge, fast movements, so you can, you know, keep it under control pretty well. And it bounces off stuff. If it, if it keeps drifting in one direction, you can use these arrows around the stick to try to correct it. So the, if it keeps drifting to the right, press this left arrow until it stays pretty steady. Looks like I've got it trimmed out pretty good. Oops, now it's starting to drift towards me a little bit. But it's never going to stay in, in place perfectly for very long. But it shouldn't constantly want to drift in any direction or else then you need to trim it should so somewhat stay pretty steady like it's doing there. That's a pretty decent hover. feel if I hold the controller like this where I can press this rotate button with my left thumb and then move the stick with my my fingers here I can I can control it around pretty well and do little circuits kind of doing a combination of making it rotate and lean to the right to get it to turn a little bit sharper Alright, well I think that was pretty much all there was to show. Let me get it facing back away from me and see if I can get it to land on my landing pad at all. And when I'm ready to land, I'm just going to hit this blue button again. Let me bring it down a little bit lower. Move it in towards my landing pad. And blue button. Oh! Not quite, but close enough. Alright, well there we go. That's the Barbie Starlight Adventure RC Flying Hoverboard. Pretty neat. I like what they did with the controller to make it nice and simple to fly. It's not overwhelming and kind of, you know, it holds its height on its own. But as you saw, you know, give it a minute um, before it, you know, get, holds a pretty good height. At first, it's very iffy while it moves up and down trying to warm up. But once it gets it locked in, it's pretty, uh, pretty good and stable and easy to fly. All right, we'll check the video description for a price and purchase link. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.